kickoffs if you're just joining us in the UFL they're from the 20 yard line to encourage more returns and more excitement the average NFL drive starts at the 26 but in the UFL it is always great field position average drive starts at the 37 so we'll see what KD Cannon out of Baylor can do zooms across midfield cuts up field at the 25 and San Antonio will start just past the 30 you mentioned it, we're gonna watch how much of the ground game we see from the Brahmas or how much OC AJ Smith goes through the air and the first two are through the air and this is Landon Akers hauling it in toward the 40 in the plus territory former Iowa State Cyclone he also signed with the Rams as an undrafted free agent in 2021 Landon Akers is a patient and they called him a sneaky kind of fast receiver yeah, Chris Odom had a nice bull rush on the previous play no surprise they went with the draw on third down Dormady to the sideline for Justin Smith and did he get both in incomplete offside defense number 15 five-yard penalty results in a first down from the 28 four-man rush and Dormady across the middle he's got Cody Latimer It'll set up first and goal for the Brahmas after 20 to the six-year NFL veteran. And out from inside the five, Love it went hurtling and got stood up and lost the football. Houston's got it, and it's a takeaway in the red zone from Glenn Logan. So Glenn Logan, yes, but Reuben Foster with the punch out. First round pick, get the ball out, Logan. In week seven of a 10 week regular season. Roughnecks on offense for the first time, and this is the former Florida Gator, Mark Thompson, who lost his helmet and gets blasted at the two, stood up by Teron Vincent out of Ohio State. This is the home of the Rice Owls. TJ Pledger, part of the one-two punch with Mark Thompson, gets a carry. Four-man rush. Garantano under pressure, throws it away toward the sideline, and three flags fly in. Okay, they're saying, okay, in the UFL, if this pass interference is less than 15 yards, it's a spot foul. You can see Mayfield at the back of your screen. He's pulling on the receiver. If it's more than 15. Pass interference, defense, number 28. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot, and an automatic first down. You saw lowest scoring offense in the UFL through six weeks. Four man rush. Garantano steps up and rifles into coverage incomplete. Be third and long, especially when your quarterback is coming off of injury and you know your pass rush, at least pass protection, has struggled. Great in scoring defense. Northwestern's Hunter Nyswander gets it away to speedy Marquez Stevenson. Fields the hop at the 20, and the former Buffalo Bill stretches wide. Got a block, and Stevenson around the edge. Better, but also, sometimes you'll see these guys down the line, just like this. Dormady back shoulder and a good one to John Trey Kirkland for a first down to the LSU Tiger. Yeah, one of the most unguardable balls, especially if thrown on timing and without any pressure. John Trey Kirkland out of LSU. Second out from the 44 for the 4 and 2 Brahmas. And Dormady checks it down to Speedy Stevenson, who slips a tackle, chukes another. And Stevenson's got a first down for San Antonio after 11. He's out there on second down for the Brahmas on a draw. This is Morgan Ellison with a seam up the middle. And the 230 pounder barrels to the 18 and picks up 16 on the ground for Keandre Thomas. Second down, Dormady swings it out to love it. Made the catch, and with a burst, runs out just shy of the 10. On third down, here's the reverse, and here's Speedy Stevenson. Lost the football! Houston's got another takeaway in the red zone. And how about these swings? Driven the length of the field, got to the red zone, and all of a sudden you see this reverse happen. Speedy Stevenson, no ball security, no ball control, great hit, and it's recovered. So first down at five, and Garantano throws the slant and got it complete across the middle. Now late in the first quarter. Garantano under pressure, and down he goes. Prince Amelie. Lack of pass protection when it comes to Houston. Great pass rush game up top. You saw it. It was an exit stunt. So three minutes left in the game. So they can play. They have to play smart. 
This is second down to start the second quarter and across the middle. Speedy Stevenson lowers his head and takes it out toward the sticks. And you see the total just shy of 40 and no points yet. Dormady toward the sideline. Great catch by Landon Akers. Went up the ladder and he finally gets swung Landon down. Akers is a Super Bowl winning player. And that was a Super Bowl winning play. They call that the sail route. So let's get back to the outside. Well, the defender felt, felt like he knew what was coming. Landon Akers is a savvy route runner. We talked about it earlier. And so he leaned inside without using his arms. Offensive pass interference didn't do that. He got his body back outside. And that's true. Sail route because it's shaped like that? I believe so, but I'm a defensive player, so some of the <laughs> offensive calls I don't always rock with. Love it left side, and he took those out of bounds inside. Chris Odom, by the way, mic'd up today. Third down. Dormady, end zone, tight coverage, and batted away. People talk about defense winning championships. Look at Marvin Moody. Look at his eyes right there. He's sliding towards the quarterback's eyes. Then he elevates him. Signed after week two to take over for the famous destroying who unfortunately suffered the fractured neck into the second quarter. And on third down, Garantano across the middle. He's got a completion for a first down to Anthony Ratliff Williams, the former Tar Heel who was a high school quarterback, picks up 15. Top five in the league in tackles is mic'd up today. It's a flip on second down and a turn up field for Justin Hall. And now third down and three. Pressure comes, Garantano steps up, and nowhere to go. You see all the protection and the time. You see the receivers here, and they're not running the right routes. Tavante Beckett brings them down, big time play. They've had so far. Garantano to the air, and it's a slant, and a first down. Second down to 10, and it's a draw to Pledger. Searches the right side and trucks forward and gets back seven. Great college coach. On third down, Garantano under pressure and he got it away to Kiki Chisholm. And trying to get Garrett Nelson to jump first. All start offense, number 51, five yard penalty, remains third down. For the Roughnecks from midfield. Flag down, Garantano stops and starts, trying to create anything, and he dives forward. Holding, offense, number 51. The penalty is declined. Result of play is fourth down. Houston did start this drive from its 25, with 106 to go in all three timeouts. They ran it, soaked a bunch of seconds, and now throw it. Two timeouts left and 17 seconds to work with. Jared Garantano takes a deep shot for Hall. Down to it. Hey, I don't know too much to say. This is the most time that I've seen the quarterback have. You saw the pump, saw the double move by Hall, and he focuses on the ball. So again, can't challenge as you see the rest of the game. 41 yards to Hall, and now Garantano had the ball come out. Houston appears to have fallen on it with Braylon Jones. Ruled a fumble and not an incomplete pass, and then they're granting the timeout with three seconds left. And I will say first things first. Look at that pass rush by Delonte Scott. <laughs> That's just a, a chop. We call it a chop club, right? He chopped the outside arm of the offensive tackle and leans and gets the gets the ball out. Don't just get it. I thought you were gonna say an eighth generation kicker. I was like, wow, respect. <laughs> For the brand with Molson on its way. And cheers to JJ Molson. Remember, he got stripped on that fumble right at the end of the first half. Garantano rifles across the middle, and that got dropped by one of his tight ends, Braden Bowman, the former Jet, and now it's third down. Well, Mike, I can tell you guys, he was sort of favoring that wrist, walking around, taking a look at it as this team came out of the locker room. Didn't hear anything else about it, but you just heard right there, said he thinks he broke it, and still trying to give it a go. Some tape on it as well. Third down, Garantano steps up, tries to escape. He's holding it in his left hand, and he goes down. Inside of the 30, wrapped up by Wyatt Ray, and it's fourth down. But if you have an injury, you may not be as excited to throw the ball. And so you see him, he's looking down the field. He feels the pressure. You want to protect that injury, why? Okay, boom, so you switch hands, put it in your left. You're trying to stiff arm with that injured wrist. May not be the best idea. A shoulder injury at the beginning of that season. 
Now Dormady operates and he throws it behind John Lovett and that's ruled an incomplete pass. You know, Dormady's one for his last seven. Quick release and drops. And now third down for the Brahmas with pressure coming. And Dormady goes down. Ball is out and who's got it? Houston's got another takeaway. At the top of your screen, he's just going to run around the offensive tackle. Mind you, a backup offensive tackle. He goes with that chop move, and then he goes and attacks the football. Chris Odom was the USL Defensive Player of the Year in 2022 with the Philadelphia Stars. His dad played 13 years in the NFL. Amazing stuff from Chris Odom. And now big third down for his offense, and Garantano steps up with that bum wrist. He's on the move, goes diving, and appears to have enough against a potential playoff team. Garantano gets rid of it, and a low throw is hauled in by Justin Hall. When it's a critical down, you go to Justin Hall. He's usually in the slot, not the biggest guy. Notice he's waiting, he's patient. He, was, he could have slid over, but he's sent More than 300 catches for him at Ball State. And now, flags fly pre-snap. False start. Offense number 74. Offensive player of the year. He's the setback. It's to the air. And Garantano gets wrapped up immediately by Tavante Beckett. And now third down and pressure coming on Garantano. Forced to roll and direct and plant. And Garantano goes down again. Strung out by Jordan Mosley and Savion Patton, where Molson was three years ago on the Packers practice squad. This from 31 and the lead, and Molson delivers. And Houston is on top with just outside of six minutes to go here in the third. Yeah, my wrist is killing me right now. Um, I don't really know what's wrong with it, but we'll, I guess we'll find out after the game. Live line now favors Houston by two and a half. It was Love it for a loss of a yard, and now Dormady is swarmed. Though he did have some pressure, that was Odom coming back in on the pressure. Look at him at the top of your screen, comes back in. Adam Rodriguez forces the quarterback back in the pocket. Must be nice. Second down, a pitch to Pledger. And how about Tavante Beckett? Shot out of a cannon defensively. It has forced Houston into third down and 12 from midfield. Garantano. Will throw toward the sideline to Hall, who hung on to it again. He got popped by T's Tabor after six. Call it 62 for J.J. Molson with a kick on its way. And good for J.J. Molson. <laughs> Defense player of the year. And then you go to special teams player of the year. It has to be one of these kickers, whether it's Ryan Bates, who made a, 60, a couple of 60-plus yarders, or right here, Molson. Dormady's only one for his last 10. Dormady up the sideline, and he is picked! Another takeaway, and Colby Richardson plucks it, and all the momentum has seesawed to the Roughnecks. The Panthers, six feet, 180, but why does this play matter? We talked about that honey hole. You heard A.J. Smith say it earlier. That is the honey hole, but that ball did not have enough air under it. And oh, by the way, Kobe Richardson is playing it smart. He's... And just going through everything, just trying to be the best defense every week and, and trying to eliminate all the middle stuff. Hey, let's go, boy! Out of FCS, San Diego has started the last four games. Mark Thompson probes for space, and he's wrapped up for no gain. Weeks as the extra offensive lineman, so there's confidence in here. He's in a right tackle. That's the direction for Mark Thompson, trying to hopscotch his way for anything, with Houston leading against 4-2 San Antonio. Sin it under pressure, got it away. Chisholm goes spinning inside of the five. J.J. Molson comes out for a mere 21-yard try this time, and he sends it through with plenty of room to spare. Well, on a couple of plays in that last possession, uh, Sam, I'll tell you after this play. Hogan to the air, and he finds Jontre Kirkland enough for a first down. You have to change your mindset. Hey, new quarterback, new offense, be ready. John Lovett takes it and finds a hole up the middle. They will mark him about a yard and a half shy. Play clock winding down on the Brahmas. 
Got it off, and Hogan will check it down to Lovett, who makes an athletic catch, breaks the tackle, and Lovett goes up the sideline toward the 35, trying to create something through the air. With the... It's a draw, and it's John Lovett with a stiff arm. And a burst for John Lovett to plunge inside the 10. And I know this isn't what offensive coordinator A.J. Smith necessarily wanted to do. He's a pass-first type of coordinator. The quarterback could keep it. They need 23 inches for a first down, and they've got it. And then some with Morgan Ellison out of southeastern Louisiana. Kevin Hogan, who got drafted by the Chiefs, pitches to Morgan Ellison. Trying the left side, and Ellison gets a couple before he's run out of bounds by Corn Elder. Hogan in the gun. Hogan flips. Edge. Kirkland, and he's wrapped up. Corn Elder in on the stop. Offside. Defense, number 58. The penalties have to distance the goal. Repeat, second down. And Johnny Yarbrough, backup offensive lineman, has come in in a heavy formation for the Brahmas. Love it, left side, and nowhere to go. Defense has been huge all game. Third down and goal for Kevin Hogan and the Brahmas. Love it, across the middle, and he looks to be short. They mark him down inside the one. And now Hogan, under center, tries to sneak, and Kevin Hogan trying to push the pile. There's a flag down and no signal yet. And they're Don't marking the them down short. So they marked him short, but there's a face mask on 94, Keontae Shad. And Landino's in the U.S. Army Command Center. Personal foul, face mask, so that's gonna defense give number 94. The penalties have to distance the goal. Automatic first down. First down and goal, and Lovett is in for a touchdown. The Brahma's first touchdown of the day, and they win a war of attrition on that drive. So proud to be two plus years sober from alcohol after the touchdown run. It's empty for the backup quarterback, Kevin Hogan, going for three to Cody Latimer. We're tied at 12. Love it. It's Latimer for three from the 10 from Kevin Hogan. And Cody Latimer is, is Mr. Clutch for this team. And when they're down, when they need it, fourth quarter, they go to Cody Latimer. Uh, get the three points, so now we're back in this game. You love that three-point conversion. Yes, sir, we do. <laughs> Guys. Drama from the Brahmas again. Tied at 12, Reggie Roberson streaks out past the 30, spins down at the 40, lost the football. My near cart's the best look. Near cart's the best look, and as the contact occurs, it starts to come out. I can't, I can't put that forearm down clearly before the ball is out. We do have a clear recovery. They look at it. They looked at that one. They kept the call on. And so the Brahmas are now tied with the ball, and Wade Phillips is just in constant action. And this Roughnecks defense has been on the field for most of this fourth quarter. It's John Lovett on the ground, setting up third down and four. We heard the word from Fitz. Quentin Dormady frustrated to be benched. Lovett tries the left side and nowhere to go into the arms of Christopher Allen. Side of 20 seconds to go. Right now it would be from 49 and Lovett's got nothing. It's a loss, and so it would be a 50-yard try. From 51 for the win for Santoso. On its way, and good! On special teams, not on defense, on special teams, get the ball back to your team and Ryan Santoso taking online classes last time we talked to him he had a final makes the makes the play 